there, uh, we're starting a new video series. It's called Three Minute Theology. Our goal is to make uh, videos that are hopefully helpful for people. Yeah. Uh, three minutes long, not long. Nope. Uh, the reason for that is because we, we know any theological topic can be talked about extensively. Yeah. Um, we can... We were, we were just saying yeah. we'll be thinking about theology in heaven for eternity. But uh, we can also do things that, are, that, that can be very bite-sized and hopefully, mm -hmm. uh, well, easy to understand maybe is the goal. So uh, what we're going to do is try to package some of these in three-minute little segments. And I've got a stopwatch running right now. And so uh, <laughs> I promise you that we will not go beyond three minutes on this video. Okay? So three minutes of theology. We thought we'd start with something that would be interesting for everybody. And yeah. that is the issue of the image of God. Man is made in the image of God. Man is. So we want to know, Jason, mm -hmm. since you're the theological expert... Oh, boy. On staff. <laughs> uh, we want to know, what does that mean? What does it yeah. mean that we're made in the image of God? And then sort of the, the connections between those things. Like, yeah. what does it mean that we're made in the image of God? Was that marred in some way? Yeah, uh, yeah. What's come of that? Right. Is there a restoration of those things? So you got three minutes. Give me what you think. That's a great outline of it. That's exactly what we're going to go through. But in Genesis 1, 26, 27, and 28, we get the image of God first time, right? Yeah. Let us make man yeah. in our image mm. early sort of allusion to the Trinity, yeah. but um, in God's image, in God's likeness. Mm -hmm. uh, he uses image and likeness there, right, in verse 26. And, uh, um, you know, the Bible doesn't clearly lay out in great specificity what exactly all of that entails, yeah, yeah. but we know that it does entail, you know, like having a will, having morality. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there's these um, inner attributes, yeah. or like the incommunicable, uh, the communicable attributes of God that yeah. we can reflect, that we can have, um, and in that way, animals don't, for example, yeah. or vegetables don't yeah. have that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, really, the way that that image is, I think, primarily reflected here in Genesis is that we are meant to rule. Okay. We're meant to have dominion. So he's the king. He rules yeah. over all. He's yeah. the sovereign one, and we're his under shepherds or gotcha. you know princes, yeah. <laughs> princes and prin uh, princes under the king, mm. having dominion over the earth as mm. um, God has called us to. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. So that's the beginning part. That's uh, the beginning. And then that's how we're created. Yeah. And then what happened to that dominion? What took so place? So in Genesis three, obviously the dominion fell apart. The man, the image of man, has been marred. But so the dominion falls apart because of sin. Yeah. We're no longer fit to rule over the earth. Mm. Creation is against us. You know, uh, uh, creation and man are not in harmony where everything is just hunky-dory. Yeah. And sin has destroyed every... Uh, sin has not destroyed everything, but has just completely... Well, yeah, it has ruined everything. Marred, tainted. Marred yeah. and tainted everything. And so... And internally, that's the problem, right? Like mm. you were saying earlier, the image of God in us has been tainted, distorted, mm. marred by yeah. sin. So that now we're born dead in sin yeah yeah so are we still uh, do we still have the image of god in us uh, even just by the very yeah. nature of who we are yeah we do i mean it, it's it's uh it, it's by the nature of being human beings we are all made in the image of god though yeah. it is marred by sin so it's both right yeah. Good. and we know that because post fall after the flood god um uh, establishes a covenant with noah not to destroy the earth with with water ever again right and, he's, and he puts in there, um, and I'm not trying to find it, but he puts in there about the uh, issue of, oh, in, in 9.6, that whoever sheds man's blood, by man his blood shall be shed. Mm. Uh, for in the image of God he made man. There it yeah. is right there. So mm. it's a post-fall reality. Yeah. I mean, it's something that's part of our being as human as humans. Yeah, okay, yeah. great. Yeah. And then very lastly, uh, yep. we're just at three minutes right now, yep. but then very last thing, yep. is there a time when that will be restored, when the image of God will be restored in in the person, in man, and the mar will be taken away. Yeah, it will be restored. Um, in Colossians 3, Ephesians 4, it says that we are being uh, renewed according mm. to the image of, of God, yeah. according to the image of Christ, mm. and we're being made into his likeness on the uh, uh, on the inside and then eventually on the outside, yeah. where, like Philippians says, we're going to have a new body. Mm. And so we will be perfectly restored, image of God inside, and then we're going to bear the image of the man of heaven, 1 Corinthians 15, yeah. on the outside too. Mm. So fully restored one day through Christ. Okay, so we have creation, we have the fall, we retain some of the image of God, and then Absolutely. that will all find its restoration in the person of Christ and our union with him. Yep. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Very good. Well, hopefully that's helpful for you. We'll do more later. Thanks. <laughs>